Hi guys, you might recognise this. This is my Silvercrest solar powered or solar charged power bank that I bought probably nearly a month ago now in Lidl. Uh, I think it was Lidl, it's either Lidl or Aldi. Yeah, Lidl, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I did some tests with it. It was half charged when I got it out of the packaging, so I made up a little electric car and ran it until it flattened the battery. It ran for several hours before it had flattened the battery. I then put it in the car, in the windscreen, and left it there for a week to see if it had actually fully charged just directly from sunlight. And after a week it was only showing the first two bars here, so it was only about half charged. So I then decided to charge it up using a USB wall charger, fully charged it, so all four bars were on, and I then left it in the car to see if it lost any power um, on the basis of even if it couldn't fully charge from the solar panel, it should keep it topped up. And I'm happy to say that if I press the button now, we've still got all four bars there, so it's maintained its charge. So that's, let's say, over a week that's been in the front of the car topping itself up with solar charge. You might even notice the green light is on here. We're in my conservatory, but there's still enough light there to register that it's got solar charge going in. If I just walk through into the dark, eventually, here, yeah, there we go, it's dark enough in here for the little green light to go out. So it's not charging itself at the moment. Come back out here, and there's enough solar light there to go into this, so that'll keep it maintained. Okay, so that's the initial waffle. The next thing I wanted to do was, rather than just connect the car up as a little electric car and run down all four bars of power, because that'd probably take a day at the rate it was working the other day, I thought I'd make this one into a radio controlled car, which I've done. Ignore the LiPo on there at the moment. So all I've done is put a servo on it and an ESC and a receiver. And we have got a radio controlled car there. Unfortunately, as soon as I plug this into it, it shuts itself off straight away. So there's some sort of um, current regulation in there that's either detecting too much uh, current flowing and switching itself off, or it could be the opposite, not enough current flowing and um, switching itself off anyway. I think it's probably the former. It's probably too much charge being drawn, too much current being drawn, so it switches itself off to protect itself. I could just plug it in and show that, couldn't I? Right, the ESC is now plugged into the power bank so as soon as I switch it on, it switches itself off again. I don't know if you saw that little flash of light. Yeah, it's very quick. It's saying, no thank you, I don't want to do that. So we're not going to demonstrate radio controlled car powered by the solar power bank unless I rip that apart and bypass the protective circuitry. So all I'll do now is I'll just plug that into that LiPo battery so we can see it drive around for a second but it's not what I wanted to do, I wanted to use that to do it and it's not going to work that way because of the protection circuit. So nothing much to show really, I mean you've got right and left, forwards and backwards and that's it really. <laughs> and it is rather overpowered because it's very lightweight so it's just spinning the wheels so that's it 
it's as far as I can go really. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.